Hey guys, Jarek here, finally streaming. I had this stream set up for a while. Uh, I'm going to wait for YouTube to catch up. I actually have somebody else in a Skype call watching me through the Steam broadcasting way so he doesn't have lag. So, hey, we have someone else with me who is currently beer being. So, give me a moment for YouTube to catch up, uh, and then I'll jump into a game. As of right now, you guys are seeing a, uh, a malt tab, so it should actually be frozen. But you, <laughs> you should be seeing a glitch right now. There we go, YouTube is caught up. Let me change the quality just so I can make sure everything's working fine. Also, glory is 60 frames, which is amazing. So, uh, here's my roommate over here. So, Komodo, come look at this glitch. I'm currently streaming right now, by the way. So, this guy, who's supposed to get wrecked, doesn't give a shit. No, this one. A security guard. Hi, oh. oh. <laughs> he's back. Okay. And Snake's back. I'm streaming live right now, by the way, Snake. Sweet. I really don't understand. The security guard doesn't care. Oh, he, he's a trooper. See, he's the guy you need to hire to tank for your guild in World of Warcraft. Just move that down over here so I can actually see the Skype call. There we go. <laughs> right, I killed this guy. <laughs> He's like, you don't seem to have any problems killing things. I'm like, you're right, I don't. Oh, you're a cruel, sick bastard. Wow, I'm getting a lot of stuttering. So you got the glue on gun? Yeah, I picked it up and he was like, you don't have any problems killing things. Oh, you're not using the high def pack? I'm not because with Half Life Source, uh, all the sound effects for reloading suddenly just go away. Hmm. Wow, I'm getting huge stuttering problems. I have no idea why. So the glue on gun, it's actually named from Ghostbusters. I believe it. Just stand completely still. I need to do something about the stuttering. It is like majorly stuttering for me. I don't know if you see that. Eh, a little. Yeah, I never looked at that PA system the same after uh, playing a lot of Sven Co-op and other mods. Mainly just the really goofy mods. Yeah, it's like so many people abuse them for like uh, sex related clips and other fucked up shit. <laughs> no fucks given at all. <laughs> he just yelled and now he doesn't care. Oh, now he's running away. Are you just gonna run up and hit a guy in the dick? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, I, I quickly am going to do something. See, this is why people don't trust dragons. Oh, you never should. Uh, stream will drop momentarily. One sec, guys. I'm fixing the stuttering because that is just horribly un undealable with. Undealable with? Oh, that's good. Mm. <laughs> Do I really want to know what you're doing right now? No. Okay, I think I fixed it. Yeah, it's fixed. That's so yes. much better. You've got so many sequels to appear in, Barney. I've got you on a lifetime contract. I'm under the firm belief that, like, they just cloned Barney a bunch of times so they didn't have to pay people to do security. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, he just showed up to, like, the biological wing one day, and they're like, Yes, would you like to donate a blood sample? It's like, no. Ooh, I accidentally pricked you with this needle.
Yeah, the M4 share is the same ammo as the Glock and the, uh, but so does the MP5, so that, that never changed. Oh god. Hmm? I, know, I forgot about that. <laughs> so you at least don't have that bad of a delay compared to what shows up on YouTube. So, uh, the first time you played this game, like, the first time you saw the Marine with the MP5, did you think he was there to actually help you? And then you were a little confused when he shot you to oh, Dude, I don't remember. This game came out too long ago. I have so much crossbow ammo and, like, almost no revolver ammo. That's weird. Ladders. Ladders are like my enemy in every shooter ever. Fucking everything is there now. Anything in the water? It was just chunks. So, about how large is Black Mesa? Because it's an area that has seven different alphabetical sections, and each one contains ten different areas within those sections. Yeah, I don't know. Stop moonwalking. What the fuck? We'd better be careful. Like, what, wasn't uh, anomalous materials like 7A or some bullshit? He didn't last long. Jeez, Barney, you're just jobbing it up. So I remember like the first few times playing Half-Life 1 never using the shotgun. Oh, that thing just rapes alien slaves all day long. Yeah, this thing is really strong and they're like, oh god. It's probably one of the best realized shotguns of the 90s. Just uh, the gunplay in general on the Half-Life games it was, uh, it was really good. It feels so much different um, in Black Mesa. Like, you have to shoot enemies way more than you did in Half-Life Source and Half-Life 1. I, I don't know like, why they did that. I feel like that's the uh, the belief that uh, we have to uh, up the difficulty ante. Like Mark everyone's was way more difficult than Half Life One was, especially those stupid cunt assassins. Oh, the uh, the black chicks and the uh, bright shiny leather. Yeah. People are yelling at some house. I don't know what they're yelling about. Did they cloak standard issue in uh, Black Mesa? Like they do on the hard difficulty. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, I'm being too easily amused by all the ragdoll. On, uh, on like the super hard difficulty, they get like special cloaking abilities. I was actually not aware of this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they don't do it on normal. Just on like, uh, was it like very hard? Like, there are certain enemies that get, like, special powers that no one else gets. <laughs> I can hear the crossbow, or the crossbow, the crowbar from me hitting things on your side and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I like how one of my viewers, what one of my viewers said when I was playing this the other day. is like, one of the best games of all time, and the only things you really remember are hitting shit with crowbars and stepping on cock. Did you hit me uh. with a fucking wall? Now you're pinned to the wall. Are the cockroaches in uh, Black Mesa still little diamonds with, like, antenna modeled on them? You can't step on them, though. It's like... Oh, that sucks. Why the hell are you even putting them in? <laughs> I know. That was what I said. It was, like, the most satisfying thing. Vent ratting. Oh, that, that's, that's not even a term. Ugh. Close enough. 
Vent ratting. Vent crawling. Vent diving. And like, uh, when you're in the mid vent, you just hear that satisfying little crunch under your feet. Like, uh, Will Smith in Men in Black. Yeah, that's the one thing about Half-Life Like, it really didn't look any better aside from the water, but the ragdolls are totally worth it. <laughs> Ragdolling in this game is so much fun. Yes, revolver ammo. Also, you can't carry as near as ammo in uh, Black Mesa as you can in Half-Life 1. 36 rounds in uh, Black Mesa original, if I recall. Yeah, it's only t it's like the Half-Life 2 version in the full release. You can only have 12 in that, can't you? Yeah, it's stupid. Oh, that's lame. Like the small, or they're not small bullets, but like it's really relatively small storage, you know. Like you should be able to carry a shitload. What's over here? Oh, it's this. Fuck you, G man. Headcrab's trying to attack G man. I'm gonna stay here and keep a lookout. For oh my god, I miss that so much. Being able to pin people to walls with the crowbar. Crowbar? God, I would love if I could do that with the crowbar. <laughs> Fuck, he just got owned. So you have a little bit of a delay, but it's not like... Well, I just watched Barney get bitch slapped. Yeah. He didn't even get a sight on that in time. So these hornets in Half-Life 1... Ow, steam. Um, they, like, will stop elevators and shit if you shoot at them until they disappear. Like, the, the hornet behavior is it's really bizarre, to say the least. There'll be times where they'll just fuck off and just go in a completely random direction. Then I know, other it's like, times. hey, I'm trying not to die here. Would you please help me? <laughs> like, they'll just wander around a room for, like, 30 seconds before eventually finding their way over to you. I like how after playing Half-Life 1 so much, you stop questioning all the dead scientists everywhere and don't even think about it. Oh, this lovely part. What, it wasn't like the uh, just generic excuse, the resonance cascade. That's a plot device they go with. It doesn't explain half the shit you see in Lambda, like this jumping puzzle with portals on a reactor. This is like a portal test room from Portal 2. I think I'm remembering the correct one. I am. Now this one I don't remember. I'm going to pick a random one. Hey, I win. Don't go on the red one. Uh, it, it was uh, opposing force that had the portal gun that could take you to Zen. If I recall. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I entirely forgot what the split function of that game did. And the... I, <laughs> I clicked it when I was playing through it last week. I was like, what the fuck happened? Where did I go? Because <laughs> it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes it'll teleport you to like just across the room or something. In front of the enemies and kill you. So... <laughs> My personal favorite is how you can get like the special ending really? for the game with that because it'll teleport you into the sky and you'll fall to your death into the middle of the void and zen. I forget how the fucking jumping in this game works. How like if you're on anything, you still continue going with the movement or whatever the fuck that is. It's like that super that awkward. nice bit of mo momentum. It's even worse with throwing grenades. <laughs> I hate throwing grenades in this game. It just does not work correctly. Uh, grenades are really floaty in this game. Yeah, no crap. <laughs> They're also massive. They're like Halo 1 grenades. I'm stuck on. There we go. I think this might be the wrong way to go. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Like, I'm curious how they got funding for something like this. 
Flame area 51. Dude, I love how ugly this Spaz 12 was in this game. Yeah, the high def like, version is uh, super pretty. I like the high def version of the uh, Spaz 12, but I don't like any of the other ones. The uh, M4? Yeah, I don't like the M4 because I would rather just have an MP5 because that's a better gun anyway. It's cooler. I don't like M4s. I get so sick of seeing M4s. They're just everywhere. All this ammo. Hom, 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 hom. Am I full on? Uh, I am cool. The next head crab you see, you need to overkill it with the biggest possible weapon you have. Oh, dude, that's like opposing force, how you could just like charge up the wrench and smack them. <laughs> yeah, they, they just explode. So, hey guys in the chat, uh, what's going on over there? Is the game too quiet? I've turned it last time I played it because I thought it was a little bit too loud. Now I can hardly hear it, so it might be too quiet. Oh yeah, so they're currently selling Baja Blast in stores. This, Mr. Freeman, is a long jump module. Yeah, sure, just take your time, dude. Oh, this doesn't make any noise. Weird. God, this scanner makes the weirdest noise. It's like a five-year-old's version of what an alien should sound like. Did you ever actually uh, do the special tutorial course in this game? Like the hazard course? What? Sorry, like, I was reading the chat. Ah. Uh, yeah, if you don't know where my chat is, uh, look at my Steam group. Oh, uh, no, no, it, it's fine. Or I could just, like, you know, do this. Now I have to find your freaking name again. <laughs> God damn it, dude. There. <laughs> no, no, don't expose me. Everyone can see you on Steam. They're all going to try to... Did I just get it? Right? Now. You did. That's, to this, that's what I use for the stream group, or a stream chat. Because it's oh. just so much more reliable than freaking YouTube's crappy comment system. Oh, I fucking hate YouTube's comment sections. I do need to turn this up a little bit. It's just too quiet for me to hear correctly. It should be kind of loud, but not like too loud to where you can't hear me. Understood? <laughs> this guy's a fucking liar. <laughs> what am I missing? He's all, I can't be interrupted or I'll have to restart. Oh, yeah. I hate this part so much. Thoughts on the alien controller enemy? These stupid flying fuckers? Yeah. These things can go suck a dick. They're so annoying. They also occasionally survive like a million shotgun kills. I can't hear the scientist talking.
Oh, did he die? Uh, no, uh, he said something a minute ago. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I got out right in the perfect timing. <laughs> nice one. I saw everything flashing red, I'm like, fuck this, I'm jumping. <laughs> That's right about the time Adrian Shepard comes through the door. I really want an imposing force too, but I know it'll never happen. Yeah, they did say it wasn't canon. Fall. Oh, you didn't fall? I can't hit it either. Come on, fall off. So, it's nice to know that in an alien world, everything's made out of metal. What? It's a friendly hound eye. Not friendly. Well, that's like a Tesla coil. How can I make that one? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Nice one. It was close enough. That wasn't close enough. <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> I like always try to make shortcuts because I like. Oh wow, that didn't hurt me. Because I don't care about jumping off these things. Like, whatever, I'll get my health back anyway. <laughs> what? How it dies? What? <laughs> what is going on here? I don't understand what is happening. <laughs> Ow. I'm fighting a bug lamp. You can get rid of these. There we go. You probably use the crossbow. Oh, well, just to shut me up. <laughs> you have a, like a 20 second delay between what I'm doing and what you're seeing. I don't know why they didn't bring this noise back uh, in Black Mesa. Like, the teleporter noise was just the best noise. God damn, this got loud. Ah, there's that noise I love. I can never jump through that. There we go. Crabs. So is the implication in the series that that's what all head crabs become, or that's just no? The that's queen? the final evolution of it. For the head crab. What is it? Oh wow, there's a that like that acid spitting shit. Is... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Causing black on walls. I just jumped off one of those tiny fucking spider things. I'm gonna laugh if one of these tighter, tiny spiders get in the way of my fucking rocket and kill me. Those things are by far the most annoying bit of fighting this enemy.
Break the wall for me. There we go. Did I break it? No, I just don't seem to care. I should definitely not be taking this much damage. I wonder if the game is glitching. Because I've had a few other bosses break on me. Can I even shoot it now? Oh, let me see. No, I can hit it. It just doesn't seem to care. I think it broke. Is it attacking you, or...? None of them you are notice, to walk you out notice how the music anything. stopped? I can go right through it too. Yeah, but that's lovely. Ow. <laughs> Welp. I still have the. I'm assuming loading this is probably not going to save anything, but whatever, let's see. I'm gonna test if it's still broken. I can, yeah, I can not hit it or even run into it. I just go right through it. So what should damage it doesn't fucking work. That's really annoying. I wonder what happens if I just start a new game on it. Because I had this happening with the fucking helicopter. Still have a ton of ammo, so that's fine. Is it really, like, permanently broken? Yeah, it is. That's really fucking obnoxious. Okay, well... Power 45%. Whoop! Fuck your shit. Alright, I gotta get it to load. I wonder what happens if it loads over here. If it's still back there, or if it would actually, like, follow, or what will happen. I don't think it follows me, but that's fucking lame. Doesn't he uh, fall through the floor there or something? Yeah, he's supposed to fall through the floor in this area. Ow, Minor Jesus Christ. Level is 100%. I, should... I don't know why the hell Half-Life Source is so broken. It's like they did some patch in 2013 that just broke the game entirely.
<clears throat> yeah, I'm concerned that the last boss will glitch as well. Oh, I, I remember this level. I love this level. Out of here. I can hear my own feedback from you watching, Snakes. You want me to turn that down? Yeah. Ow! What about now? That's fine now. Yeah, I, hope I always, last, uh, I hope always the like last to... watch boss doesn't glitch out, uh, because the the tentacle thing didn't glitch. The what are those things called? The thing that fired the fucking giant crab thing. Gone arc? No, that's a spider. I forget what it's called, but yeah, that thing didn't glitch either. That thing actually died. Well, get gassed. Oh, you guys suck. God damn it! So close. Oh, every single time you load it is the noise. I can totally make it. I don't know why I didn't do the super jump last time. Ouch. I never notice all these planes like do weird farting things. Happening. I'm gonna save time. Oh, I can totally make that. <laughs> <laughs> That was not the result that I thought was going to happen. Aren't you going to that portal right there, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I did not think that was too far of a fall at all. Well, considering like there's it. low gravity, I mean... Okay, you guys need to control. Aiming on these things. Not too easy. There we go. So, how do these platforms work? Are these poles, they just have so much gravity that they're just floating around them? Or well, that would, that would imply that you would get caught in the gravity or those alien ships. One of them just fell out of the sky. Oh, they like disappear into a portal the instant they cross over a certain border. No, no, I mean the, the Vortigaunt. Oh. Uh -huh. Those things are super speedy. What things? The, the alien ships, they're super speedy. You know, I don't understand why everyone hated Zen a lot. 
It's like the only thing they remember is the first jumping puzzle, and then the rest of it's like bad to them or something. <laughs> this guy doesn't even give a fuck. Now these Vortigaunts are friendly Vortigaunts. This is just like the factory workers of Vortigaunts, they just don't care. They're too busy drilling oil. <laughs> is that and all that? We learned from the Vortigaunts, they're really terrible people in the industry. And the union workers. <laughs> the Vortigaunts are the New Mexicans, they're taking all our jobs. They're working their nine to fives. <laughs> They're undercutting everyone else. That's why they're so disliked in Half-Life 2. I don't think anybody hated the Vortigaunt in Half-Life 2, actually. I think they got a shit on officially by, like, the Combine government. But unofficially, like, the Resistance fighters were like, Oh, they're, they're alright. There was a, uh... Yeah, there we go. Gargantua. That's the name I was trying to think of earlier. Uh, did you, uh... How'd you kill the Garg in the tunnels? Did you kill him with the power plant, or...? The Gargantuan in the tunnels, I usually don't. I usually just keep going. The, like, uh, you're supposed to Oop. lure him down the tunnel, shoot him or so, and it instantly... Oh, that one, yeah. Him. That one you shoot. I'm talking about the one in here, though. Ah. Uh. The one that apparently is stuck by this... Hey, this way. Stupid. Oh, he, uh, he smashes his way down, if I recall. He's supposed to, but he, like, he doesn't seem to care. Hey. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. Hey. Huh? Hey. Ow. Okay, now he cares. But he's, he doesn't care enough to follow me. He just cares enough to look and shoot fire at me occasionally. Okay. Fuck you, tree. Hook! Is he not following me? Where'd he go? Hey, more snarks. Why would they give me snarks here? Snarks area. <laughs> They're like the most underused oh thing in the entire game. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to follow. Alright. Snarks in very, very select situations, but they're also... Like, in those situations, they're amazing. But not in those situations, they're just terrible. Well, number one, they can't kill anything with, like, hard arm. They just spark off. Well, they work for soldiers, though. Like, if you're in an event and there's a bunch of soldiers below you or something. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Hey, hey, check out that flying guy. He's a hot dog of the place. They're trying to hit me, but I'm just out of range. Uh, you can't get me. Yeah, if you shoot him, dormant for about 10 seconds. See, the glory of just being able to do this away from- OH FUCK! <laughs> I was like, I got away from them and then that happened. Like, you see that little- <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice one, Jarek. I didn't land on anything. You didn't look before you leaped, brah. Hey, look, they just overshot. Hey. Should be another one around here. I think right behind there. Dude, a lot of these things make like the biggest sparks. There's 
If you had to fight the uh, alien grunt or the uh, shock trooper enemies in Op 4, what would you uh, take? Do what? If you had to fight the shock troopers from Op 4 or the big alien grunts from this, uh, which would you prefer? You know, the grunts really aren't that hard to fight against in this game. Yeah, it's like uh, they just have the bees, which aren't necessarily going to hit you, but the shock troopers, they hunt your ass down. They have those nasty electric guns. Also, that uh, that adorable little water dragon that you could feed like fruit to. I am not sure what you're referring to, honestly. You know when you got like that salamander and uh, shepherd would occasionally pet its head. Oh, that thing! Eat it. That's yeah, like, it was like I a didn't... grenade launcher. That was totally not a dragon. That was I don't even know what the fuck that was. But like, so... it killed you with by like, puking at things. You gave it, like, little alien fruit, like, oranges or something, and then, like, spit them at people. Is that, like, the equivalent of the people... <laughs> Is that, like, the equivalent to people that have problems with eating Taco Bell, just the other end? Alien Taco Bell, it's the worst. <laughs> I don't know why people have problems eating Taco Bell, like... It, it's the pink slime, bro. That evil pink slime. And then, Ow, Z I got you know, a Zen's bit. actually producing quite a bit of stuff. You know, their export economy is fantastic. Blue containers. They're just shipping a shitload of it. Those? Those are aliens. Where's... Oh, there you are. I don't know why they changed it so that Vortigons take two revolver hits in Black Mesa. It's just not as satisfying. It was like the revolver was overall nerfed. Uh, it was one of those weapons that everyone always used come late game because you just had so much ammo for it and it's just it so reliable. Oh, okay, so I... That's a cliff. Oh. God, I love this crossbow when it hits someone. It's just... It's like you're throwing a brick at them. It's like the alien slaves. They're effective. It's, like, it's hard to see how anyone could get overrun by them. How did that... I can't throw it yet. Ugh. There we go. So something that's really annoying about Half-Life Sword is you can't throw the Sasser Charge for the longest time after you pull it out. Shoot me through a wall. Oh, purpose of these things are. They heal me, but what purpose do they serve for the aliens? Can't imagine they'd have the same function.
<laughs> Some riveting commentary, everyone. Could you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> so so answer the question, Jarek. Hey, I've been known to go deep. <laughs> I missed somehow. Ow, wow, that actually killed me. Holy sh whoops. Oh, you're about to die. I already did. <laughs> Fucking thing. I just, I just noticed the color red in that vent is revolting as all hell. Four health and I'm still alive. Nope, I'm dead. Maybe. There we go. Holy crap, this room is death. I do not remember this room being hurting you this badly. But I do not remember my revolver doing nothing when I shot things. There we go. That was not as difficult as I was making. We have a drunk person in the chat. And by that I mean we have a Dirk again. <laughs> you miss. Who was it you had in Skype that one time who, uh, they didn't know that the Half-Life rocket launcher, uh, was, um, laser-guided, so they accidentally always killed themselves with it? I didn't have anyone in Skype. That was a conversation I had with someone, like, way the hell back in high school. He, like, he didn't know how to figure out how to use the Half-Life 2 rocket launcher, so I just, like, kept going right back at him. I hate those things. <clears throat> oh no, not the red vents, man. Not the red vents. Hey, this vents? Oh, the random screaming noises in this part. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah, there's one thing about Zen. They had sound on Zen, but the texture quality was god awful. The texture quality in this entire game was god awful. Well, 1998, so. I hear an enemy. Or a really fucking weird noise. Do you remember in 98 when they announced, uh, or was it 99 when they announced Duke Nukem Forever was going to come out and then every year after they released a new trailer? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that. It's like, uh, oh man, here's the new iteration of Duke Nukem Forever. That's so lame seeing what that like was. Like, the old versions of it actually looked surprisingly good, and then eventually, like, the last bit of news is, oh, they, they shit-canned the studio. Guess what? It's never coming out. I was but glad when the Game Forever came out. Even if it was terrible, I just wanted to see it done and over with. It's like that old joke of uh, Duke Nukem never just finally put to rest. It's Duke Nukem for never. I will fight you to the death on that, sir. <laughs> Did you do a bit of overkill there, Jarek? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, when else are you going to use those things in Zen, so... Those things have way too much health. Hey, your psychic powers, they weren't a match for my things. Powers to control my bullets. Your millions of years of superior evolution just ended in a fucking split second. So, Snake, are you looking at the uh, stream chat too? Yeah, hey, I just opened it up actually. People are drunk in the chat. What the fuck was that voice? Thank God you get him out of there. Shut down the equipment and someone get him out. Wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Thank God you get him out of there. Shut down the equipment and someone get him out. All right, now let's see if the final boss is broken. Oh, I don't remember the scientist voices echoing at this part. It's a yeah, nice most little people feature. jump in. Most people just jump in and don't even know. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice little feature. He has a lot of interesting dialogue hidden oh within God, he's his dialogue. Trying, he's already trying to make me teleport. Crap. Ooh, careful. You like really Oh he, he had two of them he launched at me. Oh my god, I freaking hate you things. Eh. Oh, I'm you're so miss. fucked. Oh, this is the worst one. How is that missing? Yeah. What, there's another one? No? He just shot him before he died. Weird. Did you ever see the uh, old game theories back in the day on like Half-Life.com where it was um, uh, Eugenia from like the Hazard course, you can find her body in one of these uh, little teleportation rooms from the end game. It's like everyone you knew and loved died and it's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Maybe you shouldn't have pushed that sample into the thing like you were ordered, Freeman. He's already teleporting. Like, that would have been fantastic if the second you came out, that other portal that he had already sent out just hit you. Oh my god, do I hate these fucking things. <laughs> There's so many of them. What the fuck am I stuck on? Was I on one of them? I hit a direct one and it didn't kill it. There's like five alien controllers there. It's so obnoxious. Did I just give you like five satchels? I only have four. I remember getting crushed against the ceiling here. Like, before you even get to the ceiling. Before you're allowed to jump off. <laughs> like the side of your body clip. Wait, did I not land in it? I apparently did not land in it. Good thing I saved.
There we go. Dude, I love it when these things don't work correctly. There we go. for me. <laughs> Damn it. Are we okay, ready to go for another trip? The one with Gina. Whoa. Flying out of the water. Where are you, fish? Get back here. I'm gonna crowbar eat it up. There we go. I killed it. Where'd a Vorta gone? Dude, all of these things just do not work correctly. There we go. This is probably going to kill me when I land. So do you think that's like some kind of plant life form, those jump pads? I don't know what they are. They're some sort of life form of something, but... Like it's a fungus? Like, what's the evolution of that? Yeah, I don't know. To be convenience of the player, and then an inconvenience of the player when it doesn't fucking work correctly. They never like, you... work. Like, you just step on it at one point and it just sucks you in and eats your feet. Probably a defense mechanism. Hey, get the, get the fuck off me, bro. So it's like the hazard suit obviously didn't protect that guy. I can only do so much. There's a lot more ammo underwater than people realize. This fucking thing, work correctly, please. I'm probably gonna jump into it. And those what? little prongs <laughs> on the edges don't really help. <laughs> I'm going to try to land on it if I just go right through the thing. I don't know if it's... if the game is glitching or not. It's attacking me correctly, so I think it might be working. Oh, that attack is always fantastic. Like oh, every God. one of those bolts does like 60 damage or something. It's fucking teleporters. Hi, Gargantua. Why'd you land me on the ground? I like how landing in ankle deep water will like perfectly make everything fine. <laughs> Video game logic. It's water, it'll decay. If only real life worked that way. Yes, this head does have to open. Um <clears throat> but I wasn't sure if the game was actually working as intended since a lot of the previous bosses didn't work. As in the helicopter Gargantua. Uh, which Dark. helicopter? The Apache or the... The one where you first get the rocket launcher. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to land on it. Oh, hey, I can actually land on it, so it's still... Oh, my God, out.
You notice it's gone now? Ow, holy crap, I got all of them on me at once. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I think it's pretty fine. <laughs> So a combination of things happened there. I was trying to avoid his electricity and teleportation and not land on one of those spikes because that would kill you if you do that. Stop on the teleporters. Stop on the teleporters, Jesus Christ. Teleport is nothing else. Die. More. Oh, it's the fish I killed. This area itself is really weird. Like, caves of ammo and underwater shit. Underwater shit. It's all human ammo, too. Back here again. It'll just teleport you here over and over and over again. Well, he's got no more of his little energy balls. You said balls. Balls are a good thing. Yeah, he's only shooting one at a time now. Alright, crossbow. There we go. Wait, what? Did I just die? I did just die! What?! <laughs> I probably landed on one of those fucking spike things. What the fuck? No! <laughs> That's the bullshit! Bro, you died a hero, though. I can still hear the teleporting nose. I can't move anymore. That was close. It like locked me in the air. Weird. I still want to know what the hell I landed on.
He's breaking so many pain points. Oh, he's dying. How to talk or to this speaking in spell. The hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were hey, I wonder. Property. Can I die in this area? Who we... Oh, damn, I can't jump. I you it. <laughs> damn it, I, I can't die. <laughs> J jump on the elevator, get squished like classics. That's what I was expecting. I, you really can't leave this area. Huh. There was like an invisible wall like two inches above you. Yeah. Now where is this? I know. I always kind of wanted to play in this area. I, I, I have recommended good. your services. To like this is what surface tension 3.0 right there. Like all the areas he takes you to are like, fuck me, dude. This would make a fantastic level. The background are like germs. They're like bacteria under microscopes and stuff. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. And now, for Half-Life 3's plot, they were talking about revealing the these benefactors, weren't the they? And talk, and revealing more about the G-Man? Well, they kind of have to. Half-Life 3 would basically be the last game they make, because they obviously don't care to continue no making Half-Life, but you can't just, like, not end it. Rather an anti Well, it's going to take them so goddamn long survived. to get it out there. Choose. I hate you and you're a bitch. I'd like to know what, what he has in that done, fucking suitcase. Mr. Freeman, I will see you up ahead. I would like to know what he is. <laughs> That's the eternal mystery. He talks like a fucking snake, dude. He talks like a speaking spell. Oh, I love this song. It's a good one. Oh, half of fun's music was good. <laughs> G-Man's G-Spot, what? Valve is... Victor Antonov right at the top. Oh, he must be feeling big. Back in 1998. <clears throat> Okay, well, I beat Half-Life 1 again and streamed it. The game was kind of broken at certain situations. So you weren't here for the other times that happened. So for the helicopter when we first get the rock launcher, it was not hurtable. Like, the, uh, the Osprey, like the drops troops or whatever. No, that thing I could get rid of perfectly fine. Uh, when you first pick up the rock launcher and you're on the cliff side. Oh, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. And like the, I could the not patchy. hurt it. Yeah, like the rockets would just go straight through it. So I couldn't do anything, so I just had to no clip up and just leave it. Um Like that Apache was a fucking terror. It was annoying as shit, but it wasn't that hard to get rid of. Uh and then the gun arc broke. And I think something else I think broke, but yeah, the, the gargantua on that tunnel broke too. So that was weird. Now the surface tension's probably my all time favorite level. Like there was just so much going on in that chapter. They're just it's straight. Okay, well, I'll be Half-Life 1 again. I will probably start a new stream in just a few minutes for Blue Shift, because I streamed for much shorter than I thought, and it's only 8 p.m. over on the Pacific Coast. So, yeah, I'm going to end the stream and go over to Blue Shift, so stay in the stream chat. And Very momentarily, if you're not in the stream chat, this thing here, whoever's watching on YouTube... Um... Yeah, just join this and I will link over to the other stream once I have it back up. So, uh, thanks for showing up. I'll see you in a few.